Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of TSL Travels. We'll be discovering the beautiful city of Midan, a gateway to the sights and sounds of Sumatra. Right after we landed, we took a 5-hour drive to Parapat. Along the way, we stopped by for lunch in the city of Pemadaun Sienta. Madan is famous for their food, and Mi Pansit is one of the most popular noodle dishes in the area. So after a long 5-hour drive, we're finally here at Parapat. We're going to spend a night here with a view of the beautiful Lake Toba. Lake Toba is the biggest volcanic lake in the world. It's also the site of a super volcanic eruption that took place some 77,000 years ago, killing most of humanity. You won't notice any of its turbulent history when you visit. Watching the sun set over Lake Toba is incredibly calming. On our second day, we visited the iconic Goldfish Monument. Locals believe that a man named Toba once had a beautiful wife, a goldfish that took the form of a woman. We bought ourselves some tiny mangoes along the way to fuel our tummies. These fruits were planted and harvested in Lake Toba and tasted really sweet. On route to our next destination, we stopped by Sima Jarunju for a cup of their signature ginger tea. We're now at Rumah Bulon, it's actually the former residence of a Batak king. If you look at the background here, this long house is actually uh, the residence and the quarters of the king. Mm. We heard that the king has 22 wives and this is where they come to pound on the corn to make flour. Standing in the Batak residence, you will notice many buffalo skulls hanging from the ceiling. A buffalo was sacrificed each time a new king takes over as their horns symbolize power. Roma Bolon's architecture is fascinating. You won't find a single nail in this building as it is held together entirely by interlocking wooden planks. Sepiso Piso Waterfall is actually the tallest waterfall in Indonesia. The name translates to sharp like a knife, referring to the way the water cuts through the face of the cliff. We're sitting in the middle of two active volcanoes. This one here is Gunung Sinabung and that one is Gunung Sibaya. According to our guy, Gunung Sinabung just uh, erupted like two uh, weeks ago. Yeah, so we were planning on visiting it but uh, maybe time to change our plans. Yeah. <laughs> we're soaking in a hot spring at the foot of Mount Sibaya. It was our first time having a spa-like experience surrounded by the cold air of the